This is Eugene Panrukovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. So when someone wants to replace a screen on a laptop computer themselves, they order a screen from us or from someone else. And for the newer laptops, most of the screens are going to look like this one on the bottom, on the back. And for most of the screens, the connector is going to be here. And this is a 40-pin connector for an LED screen. So the biggest source of problems that people experience when doing this themselves is that this connector is not properly connected. So we're going to go through it and show you how to properly connect it. So let's get a close-up. It's this connector right here. The picture's kind of blurry, but it's on the lower left-hand corner of your LED screen. All right. This is a zoom close-up of the connector, and this is what a proper connection should look like. There's little circles here and here, and there's going to be a little bump from the cable side of the connector that's going to go in here. And also where the cable side of the connector meets the screen side of the connector, there's no gap here. And when you slide this connector in, you should feel a little click when you slide it in. That's when you know when it's a good connection. So pause it right here, and this is a good connection, and you can compare it to the connection that you have on your screen. All right, let's take a look at a bad connection. In this type of bad connection, this is probably the most frequent source of error, is the connector is not slid in all the way. In this case, you will see a small gap between the video cable side of the connector and the screen side of the connector. And this is the gap right here. So when you have something like that, the screen will either stay dark or it will be it'll, the backlight will turn on and it will stay either black color or a white color. So that's not a proper connection. Let's take a look at another type of improper connector, connection. And this is when the connector goes in at an angle. So it looks okay on this side, but it's not in all the way on this side. And you'll see a little gap here. And once again, if your connector looks something like this, the screen will not work properly. All right, now for uh, Dell laptops, which this is, there's a little there's a little metal bar that goes on the cable side of the connector. And when you reconnect the screen, you have to click the bar into the screen side of the connector, and that'll help you with things. But this is what it looks like for Dell laptops. Okay, so once again, just slide your connector in and until you feel a click, and then compare it to the photo of a good connector to make sure you have a good connection. Okay, thank you very much. My name is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com.